To the Reiner Report now. The state held its first special hearing today to learn more about the governor's plan to make all companies pay a penalty for price gouging. Our political reporter Morgan Reiner is there right now. Morgan, the hearing's still going on, but tell us what you've learned so far. Today's hearing, which you're right, is still going on, is strictly informational. No vote will be taken on the governor's proposal. In fact, there are still many missing details as to how the governor wants to go about punishing the oil companies. Like, how much are they allowed to profit before they are penalized? So today, instead, we heard from the governor's administration, we heard from oil experts, and we heard from the oil industry on why they think gas prices were so high last year and the best course of action moving forward. The California Energy Commission represented Newsom's administration at Wednesday's hearing. There are times of price spikes in California that diverge from national trends significantly. Commissioner Siva Gouda said he does not believe California's environmental policies are to blame for last year's record-breaking price hike. As you can see, crude oil prices and taxes and fees, etc., remain fairly constant over the 10-week period of concern. He offered more details on what the governor's plan would do. All of the penalty would start only after refiners have been allowed to earn a healthy profit on each gallon sold, just not an extreme margin of the sort we saw last October. Look at this chart. He said based on what the plan should look like, there are only three times in the last decade when the penalty would have been activated. It is very important that we get into the detail. Catherine Reese Boyd is the CEO of the California Western States Petroleum Association. Many investigations have occurred on price gouging. None of them have come to fruition. I asked her why California's gas prices were $2.60 higher in California than the rest of the country. Certainly, it's all the environmental regulation. Also, it's the cost of crude oil. The cost of crude oil is the single biggest factor, and that, of course, we have no control over. She said none of this will help California with its supply problem. Under perfect circumstances, we'd like to produce it all here. Why? Because it's under the strictest environmental regulations in the world. And so when we can't do that, when we're limited on production of crude oil here, very difficult to get permits in the state of California to produce crude oil. There are no pipelines that bring crude oil to the state. So you would ask, where does it come from? It has to be put on a tanker. Vice Chair of the committee, Republican Senator Brian Daly, said it's hard to officially take a position on a plan with so many fill in the blanks. In the legislation that has been proposed, I haven't seen really anything that's a, a, a determinant of what the legislation would look like. But he is open to learning more about this important issue. I want to make sure, uh, you know, that, that there isn't somebody taking advantage. Some Democratic members of the committee expressed concern as well. Senator Bill Dodd said, and I quote, what the hell are the unintended consequences of this bill going to be? The governor's administration said they're looking into that as well. Of course, that's a concern of theirs as well. Now, guys, like I said, this hearing is still going on. We haven't even gotten to public comment yet, so I will update you if anything important happens here. Our Morgan Reiner live for us tonight. Morgan will check back in throughout the evening. Thank you.